are terrific. Um, you just don't know. You really just don't know. Um, you know, I just kept my fingers crossed and just believed. That's, you know, that's really the main thing. You gotta believe and you, you really gotta stay focused at whatever you wanna do in life. Even like these people that's in here tonight. The, fr the first thing, before you do any investment, any investments, you have to believe first. You have to. And that's the main thing I always believe. Did, did you believe that you would be the champ? Like, like what is when you were just getting started? Well, it's not just the champ. I'm the champ on the outside, too. I mean, I don't know. Woo! I mean, to make, to, you know, to make, to, to make over a billion dollars. Uh, a billion dollars! You know, I didn't do it by myself. What I did was I surrounded myself with a great team. Meaning, you can't think you know it all. So, if it was a person that was strong in certain departments, I wouldn't have got the best person for that. So, what I, what I believe in doing is surrounding myself with all smart people. That makes me that much more smart. Because once you surround yourself with a smart team, then it makes things that much easier. When, 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 you, when you look at your legacy, okay, not, not just in the ring, but, but in business, in industry, in making a difference, what, what do you look for, like, now? With, with, with the fight in life, in business. The fight, um, you have to do your homework. Check your background, you know? You have to do your homework. It's no different from inside the ring. You do your homework on that opponent. So I do my homework on you know, like I say, I do my homework on what I'm going to invest in. What, 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 how, do, how do you bring good people into your, like, I imagine you got, everybody wants something. Absolutely. Everybody wants to suck something, your money, whatever, right? How do you, how do you know who to pick, who to pick? Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, everybody's got to want something. I want something from you, right? So, um, how do you say yes, and, 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 and then how do you also say, hey, no, not now or not yet? Well, the stages. You can't just get get to me, just like you. You go through certain stages. You go through someone. They go through someone. And if I feel like they make the cut, we make it happen. I, I did have to go through some things. <laughs> but if you don't quit, you agree with this? If somebody didn't, if they're these are mostly business people and entrepreneurs. If they don't quit and they just keep putting the work in, what would you say? Then? But the difference between me and the rest of the business people, most of them, I feel like college teaches you how to work for someone. You know, you go to college, you go to high school, then you go to college. I, I tell people, roll the dice, take a chance. You only got one life. You don't never know if you're going to be successful if you don't take that chance. When, 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 do, when do you know I'm rolling too hard here? I'm putting too much on one thing. And, and, and are you willing to take the chance? I took the chance earlier. You know, the first time, what I did, how I got to where I got to, was I looked at certain athletes' career, and I said, I don't want to end up like that. You know, so what I did was this. It started off with five million, five million dollars. Um, put up five million, I was getting uh, 50,000 a month. Uh, everyone on the 18th. And I said, okay. And it was paying off. Uh, on every 18, every month, it was paying off. You, you like the cash flow? For, yes, for years. Uh -huh. So I said, okay. If it's paying off like this, then, and I gave him seven figures, I said, I'm not going to even give him eight figures. I went and gave him nine figures. <laughs> so then. <laughs> I love talking about money. So, I love talking about it. Money doesn't matter. I'm like, it's because you already got it. Well, you gotta realize this, this is the reason why money matters. Okay. Without money, you can't buy food to live, to be alive. So money, you, you have to have money to be alive. Um, but I believe in creating generational wealth. You know? Yes. When you look at investments today, Floyd, what do you look at for, for is it feeling? Is it, a, is it, is it, is it, does it have to make sense to you? Is it something you like? If it's something that I know is paying off, lucrative and heavy, I got to go with it. I have to go with it. How much do you like real estate?
Where's my money? I got two million dollars worth of real estate. I'm going to ten. So they're like, hey, maybe maybe you partner with Floyd. You know, um, create a new fund. Nate Weather Cardone Fund. Well, you know.
I was basically in a chobo and I, I wasn't comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I bought myself out my contract for seven hundred and fifty thousand. And this was, I mean, almost twenty years ago. But with leaving that company and just you know with the uh, Canelo Alvarez and Conor McGregor and Manny Pacquiao fight, I made seven hundred and fifty million just in those three fights. as a fighter and not understanding the businessman yes. and the entrepreneur and the mastermind behind your, your, your career. <laughs> you can't hear that. Well, this, this is how it works. I believe in leveraging and being smart. You know, I, I, you have to leverage and you have to have something to leverage with. Um, so I can go to you and say, I need, I'm fighting again and I need a guarantee of 300 and I need you to give me, put 100 million up front if you believe in me. And, and you would say, why would I do that? And I say, well, look at my track record. The track record shows. I'm, I'm always winning, I'm winning in life. So take a chance, roll the dice with me and you'll win with me. So, so, so would you say, Floyd, that people, more important than money is, is your success? So, so, because that can